Rub the coin and it looks like it just magically bends. Take the quarter and just wave. I just wait. Whoa, no way. So take the coin, stuff it in. Watch one, two, three. Take the card and change it. Watch one, two, three. <gasps> All we have to do is just kind of roll over the bill. Just wave and the coin magically reappears. Open your hand slowly. There's no way. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, I am your host Evan Era. Today I'm joined with a special co-host. I got Justin from Couch Collectibles. What's up, guys? And we are showing you five magic coin tricks that you can do at home. Yeah. You pay change? That's all I got. Oh, you got to have bills, paper money. So if you're ready, hit the thumbs up button for me and let's go. This first one is an impossible coin trick that looks like your spectator has supernatural powers. Check it out. Okay, do you have a coin that I can borrow? Any coin you want. What do you got? Nickel? Nickel? Perfect. Nickel right here. Hold the pen. <laughs> do me a favor. Just sign the nickel right on the front face of it. Oh, don't move. As best you can do. Woo! Perfect. Is your name on there? Yeah. Good? Well, my initials, yeah. It's definitely your sign coin right there. If I yes. tap it, one, two, three, you can kind of see it just Whoa. disappear. Just like that. It, go it goes, right? But watch. <laughs> we can try it one Whoa. more time. If I take the coin, hold out your hands for me, both hands together. You can actually make the coin reappear there. See? Uh, hold both hands. Do have this? Okay. Hold both hands up high, like high as you can. High as I can. Perfect, oh. just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna drop the coin right here and squeeze, just like that. Hold tight, okay? Okay. You can kind of feel it happen in your hands. If you just squeeze tighter on the coin, you feel it kind of bending a little bit. Look, it open, feels... open your hand slowly. There's no way. <gasps> what? What? <Good>. Oh. <laughs> Yes, it's bent. I just saw it. How would you do that with your hands? I'm so confused. That's incredible. You're really strong. I mean, <laughs> it must have been me. There's no way I did that. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I've tried to push coins to me. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, this is the secret to the magic coin bend. This is not a normal Sharpie marker. So you just bend it right in the middle. It looks like a normal Sharpie marker. It actually has a hinge in the middle and it's actually made of metal. It's not plastic like a normal Sharpie. And if you look, it has a slit in the middle. There's a cut. What that is actually for is to slide a coin inside. So step one, you're going to start out with the folding Sharpie, the metal one, in your pocket. I'm going to have a normal Sharpie marker out here. You can borrow a coin from them. So this starts off in your pocket. I'm going to give you the steps right now. So they can sign this coin. So you can put whatever they want on it. doesn't matter. They can sign the coin on both sides. Then you're going to do this little coin vanish. It's a simple little thing. You have the coin in this hand. And you're going to tap it with the Sharpie marker. One, two, three. And on the third time, you're just going to toss the coin back into your other hand as you come down with the marker. So it's going to look like you just one, two, three, tap it and it disappears. So you're going to just practice that a little bit. It's a move. It's just a one, two, three and the coin just vanishes. Looks like the Sharpie just made it vanish. So now when they're reacting to that, you're gonna drop this Sharpie marker into your pocket and switch it for this one. You're gonna bring it back out, you're gonna make the coin reappear in your hand. Now while they're reacting to the coin reappearing, you're gonna tell them to hold up their hands like this. When their attention is misdirected to their hands, you're going to slip their coin into the slot on the Sharpie marker. You're then going to use the Sharpie to bend their coin. All you have to do is press and the coin will bend. You're then going to slip the marker back into your pocket. Now there are a couple different ways you can produce the bent coin at this point. You can hold it at your fingertips like this, have them rub, and it kind of seems like it just bends right there at your fingertips. Or my favorite is to have them hold out their hand, you then place the coin in their hand and immediately have them close their hand around it. And tell them to squeeze as tight as they possibly can and then when they open their hand, it seems like they bent the coin themselves. It's really one of the most astonishing things you can do with a coin, I think. It looks so impossible. Rub the coin and it looks like it just magically bends. Stay tuned until the end of the video. I'm giving away the magic coin bending Sharpie to one lucky comment. And that is how you do the magic coin bend trick. Okay, this is a cool piece of money magic that looks absolutely stunning. Take a look. All right, Justin, so I have something cool to show you. This is called a money printer. We actually have a money printer in our shop. This is different. 
It's actually a little bit cooler. Do you have a dollar bill? Not a good condition dollar bill, but it's a dollar bill. Even better. Got a super crusty dollar bill here. All right, so I'm gonna take the bill. I'm gonna sit it right down here. Normal on both sides. All you do is take this little roller. All we have to do is just kind of roll over the bill. <laughs> no way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll actually change it. Wait, wait, thank you. No way, how'd you? I guess I, is that my oh, I get to keep it. The secret of this trick is just as cool as the trick itself. Here's an explanation of how it's done. Okay, here is the secret of the magic money printer. It's so cool. The secret is all found in this roller. Let me show you. So this is kind of similar to the money printer that we have in the Evanera TV shop, but it's a little bit different. So you start out the trick with the roller set just like this. You're gonna take a $100 bill or a regular $1 bill if you're gonna change it from a blank piece of paper into a one. You're gonna set the $100 bill right here. Then you're gonna take the roller and it looks like the bill just completely disappears. What's actually happening is there's a piece of paper wrapped around this roller right here that's rolling up. So if you look closely, as this unrolls, there's paper coming out of it just like that. And it's the exact same pattern paper that's underneath here. So it's really hard to tell the difference. So you put the bill here and the roller actually hides it underneath that piece of paper. Then it's set up to go. It has a little notch right here that this bar kind of latches into to hold it in place. And if you just let go of it, it's like spring loaded and it'll pop back to the other side. You can borrow a bill from the spectator. That's a really cool part. And take their bill, put it here and say, watch if I just roll it with my money printer, it magically changes into a hundred dollar bill. Such a cool visual. They can instantly pick up this bill and check it out. Can't really let them inspect this too closely because if they move this, they'll see the other bill underneath, but you can show it openly on both sides. It's got like a nice little rubber grip on the bottom. And then I don't know why you would want to, but you could change the hundred back into a one. You take a blank piece of paper, put it in your little money roller, and just print a hundred dollar bill. So many different things you could do with it, different variations. You could take their money, turn it into an IOU. That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. Or you could do the reverse of that. Take the IOU and say, look, I know I've owed you the hundred bucks for a while. Here you go. Let's just turn the IOU into real money. It's still amazing even after you know the secret. And that is the secret of the magic money printer. Everyone loves a trick that you don't need props for. Here's a cool coin trick that you can do at home right now. Okay, cool coin trick that you can do at home. This is a regular quarter. You can see on both sides. And my hands are both completely empty. Now I'm going to take the coin right here. Push it in right here. Squeeze and watch. Just like that, the coin vanishes. Super simple secret, here's how it's done. All right, so the first step to the tunnel coin vanish is you need a coin. So any coin will do for this. It works best with like a kind of a bigger coin, like a quarter or a nickel. So you're gonna set it right here. Here's where it's gonna start out. Almost as if you were gonna stuff it into your fist to vanish it with a thumb tip or show it to your audience. And you're gonna turn your hand this way. They can still see it a little bit there. But you're gonna take the thumb of your other hand and you're gonna act like you're pushing it into your fist like this. And you really are. You're gonna push it into your fist, but you're gonna let it fall out of the back of your fingers and into the hand underneath as you pull your hand out and point at the fist. So it's a quick finger palm of this coin, really fast, watch. So it starts like this, you show it here, push it into the hand, and it's gone. You retain it over here. So you have the coin here, push over, boom, it's over here. So from the back side, let me show you. So the hand is like this, this hand's gonna push the coin over and out the back into the other hand, just like that, as you pull the thumb out and point at this hand. And it looks like you just stuff the coin into your fist like that. Now you're gonna do a little bit of acting, act like you're holding the coin right here at your fingertips and just rub it out of existence. Now, once you have the coin retained in finger palm here, you're in a perfect position to make it appear on your spectator's hand. So you tell them to hold out their hands, and as you wave across, you simply let go of the coin, and with a bit of misdirection of the waving of the hands, it really seems like the coin just appears right there in their hands. Such a cool and easy coin trick that you can do at home with just a little bit of practice. So take the coin, stuff it in, watch one, two, three, and it's gone. Just wave and the coin magically reappears. And that is the secret of the magic tunnel vanish. This coin trick is absolutely amazing and can be done in a snap. Check it out. Okay, another cool coin trick. I have a quarter right here. Hands empty, you can see. All right, watch. All you do is take the quarter and just wave. Whoa. It looks like it has changed. <laughs> Dude, you're losing money. You just lost 24 cents. <laughs> I'll show you the secret behind losing money right now. This is another simple one that you can pull off at home. Let me show you how. So you're gonna need two coins for this. You're gonna need a quarter and a penny or whatever coins will work for your country's currency. You just need one that is bigger than the other. So big coin goes in the front, little coin goes behind. And this is exactly like a snap change that you would do with playing cards. Take the card and change it. So it's the exact same concept with the coin. 
coins. You're gonna start out with the bigger coin in front and the little coin behind. Oh, just like this at your fingertips. And you can show this pretty openly. Show your hands empty on both sides. Just pinch the coin real loosely. Show this very casually. You want it to be completely nonchalant. And you wanna be careful that the coins don't clink together. So kind of avoid that sound. You're just gonna hold them at your fingertips, pass it back and forth. So once you have it here, you're ready to do the snap change. You're gonna hold both your two fingers on the front of the coin like that and your thumb on the back. So the thumb's gonna go on the back and hold the penny in place. Your forefinger and middle finger are gonna go on the front of the big coin. Here's what's gonna happen. Your other hand's gonna come over to provide a bit of cover for this happening. You're gonna start by pulling your middle finger back. It's gonna tilt the quarter back just like this. So what's gonna happen is that essentially. This happens very fast though. Got it at your fingertips, show the hands empty, and the quarter magically changes into a penny. So the idea is the quarter should be tucked back far enough that you can show the penny at your fingertips, drop it into your other hand, and ditch the quarter into your pocket while their attention is misdirected on this coin. So practice it a few times before you show it off to people, but it's a really easy change. Once you get good at it, you don't even need the other hand for cover. You can just take a quarter and magically change it into a penny just like that. And that is the secret of the the magic change, snap change. Change, the coin change with the snap changing. It's change, and then it changes. Okay, this one is a classic coin sleight of hand maneuver that every magician should know. Okay, so I have another cool coin trick to show you. Just hold your hand out just like that, perfect. So empty hands here. Also, sleeves are rolled up on both sides. Watch, if I just wait. Whoa, no way. It looks like a coin. Give me more, man, come on. Come on. That's awesome. I'll teach you the secret right now. The secret of this one is some simple sleight of hand. Let me show you. A really easy one that you can do at home with just a little practice. This is such a cool way to produce a coin from your bare hands. So you show your hands empty. And then as you would traditionally do before you do a magic trick, you're gonna roll up your sleeves. So you're just gonna push this sleeve up like this, push this sleeve up like this, and then you can magically produce a coin from your bare hands. Now you can use this to produce a coin onto a spectator's hand. You can use it to just make sure you have a coin loaded for somewhere else in the trick. So you're gonna start out with the coin tucked into the folds of your jacket that's kind of already rolled up a little bit. So you've got the coin right here, you're gonna tuck it into one of the folds. Just kind of have this rolled up in the crease of your elbow. So you can show your hands empty here, and then as you roll up your sleeves, you're gonna steal that coin out of your shirt, just like that, and on this side. So you could even have a coin in both sides if you wanted. So you have your coin hidden here, sleeve gets rolled up, coin gets stolen out. You're gonna conceal that in your hand as you come over and roll up the other sleeve. You want it to look completely natural, like one fluid motion of you just rolling your sleeves up. So now that you have the coin palmed, making it appear as simple as dropping it onto your hand or onto the spectator's hand. So set this up before the trick starts. You're gonna just tuck it right there in the fold of the shirt and the crease of your elbow is gonna hold it in place as you show your hands empty. Say, hey, check it out, I have a trick for you. Empty hands, right? Nothing up my sleeves. Watch. Coin just magically appears. There are so many different applications and variations that you can use the rolling up your sleeves move for. So you could have a marker right here on your jacket say, look, my hands are empty. I'll even roll up my sleeves for you. Then you can take your marker, remove the cap, and it looks like you produce a coin from the cap of the marker. Kind of impossible because the coin could absolutely not fit inside the cap of the marker. It looks like it comes right out of it. You're just going to retain the coin in your hand like this. And as you go down, you just let it drop from your hand. Looks like the coin just magically appears from the marker cap. Try it out at home and let me know what you come up with. And that is the secret of the coin up the sleeve trick. This one is a classic coin trick and it's absolutely amazing. One of my personal favorites because I think it's the first coin trick I ever learned. Take a look. So I'm going to show you a cool coin trick. It's actually with two coins from different countries. This mm -hmm. one is from America, where we live, yep. and this one is from Mexico. So the silver one here, that is our US coin, and then this one is from Mexico. So pay attention to the Mexican coin. If I just okay. take my hand and I shake like this, it looks like the Mexican coin has just completely disappeared. What? It's gone. No, but how is it gone? Here, take this, you can see. It's actually disappeared. Do you know where it goes? It actually went right over here into the tortilla chips. If you take the chips, so hold up your hand. If you take the chip like this, watch one, two, three. <gasps> coin just appears right from the chip. But, but how did it do that? <laughs> Magic, duh. Can I eat it? The secret behind this one is really amazing. Let me explain the mechanics of how it works. Here is the secret of the magic disappearing Mexican coin. This is a special coin. It's not just a regular US half dollar. This trick is called Scotch and Soda. It's one of the first coin tricks I ever learned. It comes with this little ring 
and when you bang it on the table, you can see that the half dollar is completely hollowed out on the bottom, and the Mexican coin will actually fit right there into it so that they lock together and become one coin. So you can take this bang ring, is what it's called, put the coin inside of it, and then you slam it on the table, and the coin will come out. So you start the trick with these two already separated like this, sitting on the table or in your hand. And as you wave your hand over, it looks like the Mexican coin, I think it's 10 pesos, a centavo, just magically disappears. Now, it comes with another Mexican coin, a normal one that you can put in your pocket, you can slip into a spectator's pocket, or you can produce from a tortilla chip, anything like that. You can make it appear inside a burrito or a taco. Really just infinite possibilities. You can just have this in the other hand, whatever you wanna do. So you're gonna hide this coin before the trick starts, and you're gonna start the trick with these two separated. Have them laid out on your hand, then you can either wave back and forth, kind of close your hand up and make them join together like this. Then you can really show this openly. The spectators can even handle this coin and they won't find anything. And then everyone's gonna be wondering where the Mexican coin is gone. That's when you produce it from a tortilla chip or pull it out of your pocket. Super easy coin trick. You could even do it at your fingertips. Say, watch, all I have to do is just wave and it looks like the Mexican coin has just completely vanished. It's a classic magic trick and I'm gonna give it away to one lucky comment at the end of the video, so stay tuned. And now you know the secret of scotch and soda. Hey guys, that is it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button for me and share it with someone you think might like it. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic coin and money props from this video and three magic bite out quarters from EvaneraTV.com. Giving away these prizes to six lucky comments in the comment section down below. If you wanna win a giveaway prize, hit the thumbs up button, share the video with someone you think might like it, and leave a comment in the comment section. Leave as many comments as you want. The more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning the giveaway. It's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a private message on YouTube with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments below. Also, head over to Justin's channel. That's Couch Collectibles. He has a lot of cool videos there. Go subscribe. Yeah, over at Couch Collectibles, we talk about rare and valuable coins that could be hiding in your pocket change. So go check out his channel. Subscribe to it. He puts out a lot of cool videos about coins and other like collectible stuff or is it mostly just coins. Mostly coins, but we also talk about collectibles as well. Cool. So go subscribe to his channel, subscribe to this channel if you're new, and until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.